I just realized the other day that it's been almost exactly to the day of filming this a year since I had I've had the uh, the Radio Master the Radio Master Pocket in my hands. Focus. There you go. And when I first got the radio, when I first got the radio, I was like, my first thought was like, um, like, I wonder how long this radio is going to last. Uh, now, if if you like, if you watch the channel uh, often, you probably already know that I travel like all over the country for work. And I bring along my micros with me, which means I bring the pocket with me. Focus. I bring the pocket with me everywhere I go, pretty much. Um, like okay so how long exactly is this cheap $60 radio uh, really gonna last especially with the kind of abuse um, that's going to take traveling with me all over been in airplanes bumping around and in the back of work trucks and I don't necessarily baby this thing I put it in its little case I fold it up whatever and I toss it I'm not actually gonna toss it because I don't I don't want to hurt it. There's no reason to hurt it. So initially I did a sort of like mild durability test and that video is there somewhere, somewhere on the screen. And um, threw it, <clears throat> I just threw the, the radio in my motorcycle bag. Um, and I, I it was like, I rode like 45 miles down the road. I was helping, I think I was helping with Castle Crash set up. Um, but it, which was an, a good initial test. But in my head the whole time, again, I kept asking myself, like, how long, how long will it really last? Like, what's going to be the status of the radio in, say, a year? And this is kind of fun to remember because I'm like, oh, cool. It's like a little time capsule that I get to, uh, I get to finally make a video on. So that's what this whole video is about. Um, stick around if you're curious about the status of this radio and um, the pocket and uh, what has happened to it, what's good about it, and what's bad about it after having this and using it extensively, like, weekly, sometimes daily, for over, a well, I guess, no, no, it's exactly a year. It's like exactly a year. So, I'm excited, I'm really excited. Honestly, I don't like, I don't like do review videos and shit. This isn't necessarily a review video, because if you want the pocket, you already know you want it, so, like, whatever. Um, and again, this isn't paid or anything. It's just like a, I like to make these little PSAs sometimes uh, to help uh, people, especially new people that are like, I don't want to spend $300 on a radio or I don't want to spend $120 on a radio um, to know that uh, this, you know, what this radio is going to bring you after you're getting into the hobby. The good. So I'm super, I'm super happy to report that everything on the radio Everything on the radio works perfectly fine. The buttons, the gimbals, the ELRS antennas. I've had no fail safes um, with with that. And like, I gotta say, you know, for the tiny plastic gimbals, for these tiny plastic gimbals, they feel as good as my Tango 2, which uh, already has plastic gimbals, I guess, but um, they feel, these feel fucking great for 60 bucks. And that was my initial thought when I first got this radio in my hands. I was like, whoa, those gimbals feel pretty damn good. Everything else works perfectly fine. All the buttons work. Uh, if you can see, see the little lights going off and on. All the little lights work. That's huge right there. After a year, I've beaten the fuck out of this, this radio and it still works perfectly fine. Just like the day I got out of the box. So that brings me to my next uh, section, the bad. Now, that's not, that's not without any sort of faults. I did at one point have to readjust my throttle uh, tension on my left stick because it seemed to be getting a little tight and I was like, hmm, what's going on with that? I had somehow, 
I don't, you probably won't be able to see it very well if it focuses. Focus, damn it. You see this little inside thing here? There's like a screw that goes in here. It goes in from the back. You take this cover off, there's like a little screw in there. Um, I had somehow, I had somehow broken that in transport somewhere. It got bashed. It was broken in there and I was like, oh, it was causing it to bind. I did have to take this off and the, the little, this little rubber bit and readjust it and then I just put I honestly just put a little bit of super glue right here you can't even see the super glue but I put a little bit of super glue right there and it's held up fine I have no complaints like that's literally the worst that's literally the worst thing that's happened to this radio in all of its uh durability testing which again I'm not I didn't purposely like try to break it this is just like regular use you know, regular use and abuse. Which brings me to my next point, which is the ugly. The one, the one big complaint I have, and many others have about the pocket, is the stick ends. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take one off. There's just, there's a couple, there's a couple thing, there's a couple things about these little guys. So the first one is um, the biggest complaint when the radio came out is when these stick ends were new these they are they are come on focus they are sharp they are sharp as fuck me personally my my thumbs can't even read on a, like a thumb scanner on phones. So I have the calluses, so they don't really bother me that much. In fact, I prefer the extra pokey. And I'm sure a lot of you watching this video out there that are curious also are like, I like the pokey stick ends. Yeah, same. I like it too. But um, that was a huge complaint. And honestly, after using, after flying the radio around for a while, like extended use, it does kind of poke your fingers a little bit. Um, so if you don't have calluses, you'll get them. You'll get them quickly. Now, the second part, the second part about um, the stick ends is even after a year, there are little, there are little to no replacement or upgraded stick ends to the radio that I can find other than these like crappy 3D printed ones on AliExpress. And uh, me personally, I do not trust uh, AliExpress, um, so uh, I like my stick. I like my stick ends to be uh, like big, flat mushroom tops that are like slammed as low as the stick travel will allow. And by stick travel, I mean as far around that the stick. You see how it's not hitting the side of the inside of the gimbal there um, will allow for because I thumb, I thumb. That's what that's what I like, and there's nothing like that other than doing some like modifications. And I've seen people like make their own. Like it's probably pretty simple, but I'd I would really like to um, you know have something official. Which brings me to my final complaint. Um, somehow after a year, somehow after a year, I haven't lost my stick ends. There are little spaces for the stick ends to go. And you gotta pull them out. They're kind of fiddly and tiny, and it's kind of fiddly and tiny to to stick it in there. If it'll focus, I can show you. See the little hole. But boy, howdy! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I've had some close calls going out and like gorilla whooping. You know, you're kind of in the moment. You're like, oh, adrenaline's pumping. And where I've dropped the stick ends, putting it in. Like trying to put it in, like kind of like all not really nervous, but just like filled with adrenaline, where it's almost rolled under like a uh, like a shelf or a counter, and uh, yeah, if it did that, then there's nothing that can be done about it. It'd be cool if they like made some that folded over or something, or I don't know. Which brings me, which brings me to the conclusion. <laughs> Is the sixty dollar a sixty dollar is the sixty dollar Radio Master Pocket still worth it in twenty twenty four after a, a year of use and abuse? You probably already guessed 
um, what I'm gonna say, but uh, obviously I could say that this is the this is the best cheapest radio ever. Oh my God! Please like and subscribe. Affiliate link below. Y'all know that I ain't about that bullshit. So um, that being said, I can for sure say the pocket is it's one. It's compact. This thing fits in pretty much any reasonable size pocket, literally, as the pocket. Uh, two, it's cheap. It's really cheap. Um, three, it takes it takes a beating. Um, Ford has onboard ELRS. It does have a little expansion bay. You can put whatever on there. Five, five. It feels it feels good in the hands. It feels good in my hands. I got tiny little baby hands. Um, but uh, it feels really good in my hands. It doesn't feel like out of place. It doesn't feel too small or anything, which is pretty awesome. And six, uh, buttons, the buttons and switches are still working fine after a year of abuse. I thought for sure that these squishy buttons and shoulder pads, I thought for sure they weren't gonna last. But um, with all their faults being not the greatest, they're still working just fine, and I've had zero issues with them getting stuck or anything like that. Overall, overall, the upsides greatly outweigh the overall the upsides greatly outweigh the downsides. And after a year of abuse, I still think the pocket fucks. Like this radio is awesome. It's not gonna be your only radio, um, but it is definitely one you're gonna want just to have. Um, for just when you can't have these expensive radio to bring with you like on a trip or you're traveling you don't want to break your your nice boxer or you don't want to break your tango too um that are seemingly becoming harder to get you don't got to worry about this it's 60 bucks if it breaks whatever it's easy to fix it's cheap if you have to buy a new one that is it that that it was a really fun it was really fun making this video because i got to um I forgot what I was gonna say. But if you liked the video, um, do the subscribe. And I have a Patreon and a Discord. Uh, so if you want, those are in the description below. And I appreciate everyone's support. I pay everything out of, everything I pay for on my own pocket. I don't have any sponsors or anything. Uh, uh, yeah, Ta tattoo, tattoo battery, tattoo batteries. Tattoo batteries, please, please give me a sponsor battery, please. Thank, thank you, Tattoo. I, I love you very much. And you guys, you, you're, you're awesome. You rule too. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Hell yeah. Okay, bye.